for you. This, of course, is Bollywood Box Office. Not a week of big releases, but a week of, I think, some important films because I think this actor is one of the most underrated actors in Bollywood. The name Sharif Hashmi might not ring a bell, but when you say Filmistan, it will definitely ring a bell because it won one of the most awards in a year as far as actor as well as film was concerned. So the film we're talking about today is Fulu. Badman is a film that's going to come out very soon. Akshay Kumar in it. Talking about menstruation, sanitary pads. These were words that were taboos in our country. I remember in my youth when I used to go, I had a sister. I used to go to the chemist. I was told, take the black plastic bag, brown paper bag, and just go. I was not supposed to ask anything. I was just supposed to always think that it was something wrong, something dirty which I think our current society is now out to sort of uh, rectify. So, Toilet Ek Prem Katha, a film talking about sanitation, which Akshay Kumar is again doing. Padman, another film that his wife is producing, that talks about a real-life man who spent his entire life sorting things out for women. Now, Fulu comes in before all of that. A, it does not have the grand skill of an Akshay Kumar film. It doesn't have the songs. It doesn't have all the gloss that you'd want to see. And it's not a real story. But it is about, well, loosely based, about a man who went about trying to change something for his wife. A man gets married to his wife, and then the wife says, this is not how things happen. He realizes that he has to do something to change the fate of women in his village. And that is why Shari Hashmi comes in. It's a gritty film, it's a dark film. When I say dark, there's a sense of dark humor. Like Peeply Life. I always think PP Live was one of the best films that was ever made. And because it dealt so starkly with how society perceives things, that's why it was so successful. Will Pulu be as successful? Now, performance-wise, let's talk about Shari Bhashmi. Superbly earnest, very tough film to shoot. You have to understand, when you have no surroundings around you, when you have no props with you, it gets very tough to make sure that the audience stays riveted and hooked. Secondly, Jyotika, the girl, very good performance wasn't meant to be part of this film. In fact, Shari Bhashmi found her on Instagram and then sort of like messaged her and that's how she came onto the film. But will the film do well? I think that's where the slight problem exists. It has a very novel concept. It does deal with how to educate the audiences. It deals with a man trying to make that sanitary pad and you know, the entire process with it and how the world sort of wanted to say, what are you doing? And how he wins them over but it doesn't execute at the level that keeps the audience engaged for too long. Brilliant performances, but weak script and weak screenplay. Especially the second half, you're wondering if there'll be a big dhamaka, but it turns out to be a bit of an anti-climax. Songs, nothing to write home about. So unfortunately, I'm gonna give two and a half stars for a very earnest performance, but nothing beyond that. Otherwise, go watch it just for the performances. You might walk away satisfied. As far as box office collections are concerned, Rapta, as stated here, Flopping very badly at the box office, perhaps one of the biggest flops of the year. Barely making uh, 15 crores over the weekend and just about getting about 10 or 7 crores over the week, which really makes it a huge flop because they need about 55 at the box office. So, Shan Singh Rajput questions will be raised whether he can only do specific kind of films or whether he's able to do you know, the normal kind of cinema. I think he's a very talented actor, but this is a big setback, at least box office wise, for him. Coming up next week is. The Dawn, Salman Khan and Tube Light. Well, it's going to break a number of records. Will it break Ganga 3D7 for a Hindi film? Will it break the 500 for Bahubali? It's possibly going to be one of the biggest releases ever in Indian cinema. But Salman Khan isn't playing the macho superhero in this film. So the audiences are divided on this one. Can't wait to see this one. I know for a fact that the entire setup with Kabir Khan and Zuzu, the actress from China, as well as Salman Khan, things should be perfect for it. Till the next time, take care, and I'll see you soon.